Buenos Aires Maria Ava Noble says she is carrying out the legacy of her namesake as she labors in a soup kitchen in a working-class neighborhood of Buenos Aires. She was named after iconic Argentine former First Lady Maria Eva Duarte de Perón, better known as Eva Perón, or Eviva, who died 70 years ago Tuesday. Though not related to Eva Perón, Noble says, I carry a Viveda in my DNA. Eviva has been the subject of countless books, movies, TV shows, and even a Broadway musical, but for some of her oldest, most ardent followers the connection with the actress-turned-political leader is much more personal. It was thanks to her that I had my first backpack," said Barrow, who still recalls the excitement of seeing Evita pass by her town on a train. A decade later, she met Juan Domingo Perón, a military officer who was a government official. Evita was by his side when Perón won the 1946 presidential election and went on to take an unprecedented role as a powerful first lady, putting herself at the forefront of women's rights causes, including suffrage that was approved a year later, and setting up a foundation to help workers and the poor. As much as Evita was loved, she was equally hated by many of the country's wealthy and powerful who were wary of her growing popularity and influence. Perón was respected, he was obeyed, you either agreed with what he said or not. But Evita was loved or hated and ended up contributing a strong dose of emotion to Peronism, said Felipe Pigna, a historian who has written extensively about the former First Lady. For some, that emotion has lived on. Maria Eva Sapir joined with almost 100 others a day before the anniversary of Evita's death to dress up like her as part of a performance that paid homage to the former first lady. When you listen to her speeches it's amazing how so many things still fit, so many years later," Sapir said. Others who came to admire Evita later in life often say that it was precisely the feeling that she was advanced for her time in many issues, particularly women's rights, that led them to join her legions of fans. Young people in particular see a rebel in Evita, a figure who didn't bow her head or give up and ended up dying young and beautiful, which contributed to the construction of a pop icon," Pigna said. Eva is a character who bewitches," said Alejandro Macy, director of new series Santa Eva, that premieres Tuesday on Disney's streaming services based on a 1995 novel by Argentine writer Tomás Elvoy Martínez. Others also point to claims that the couple received money from the Nazis to help perpetrators of war crimes hide out in Argentina after World War II. Cristina Alvarez Rodriguez, a great niece of Evita, who is now a minister in the Buenos Aires provincial government, said she is particularly moved by the number of very young girls who have tattooed Evita on their skin and now have her as a guiding light. Nieto said that the government that is in power calls itself Peronist, but it really isn't Peronism.
This woman proposed a society with greater mobility, which is exactly what Argentina does not have right now. It lacks any kind of social mobility, and if it has any, it's downward, he said.